This is Anthony Galliano for B2B Cambodia with your market update for May 30th. The Cambodia Securities Exchange dropped for the second straight day, down 0.38 points to 415.81. Volume on the main board picked up today with 452,483 shares traded at a value of 297 United States dollars. The most active stock again today was Royal Group Non Pen Special Economic Zone, up 70 real per share or 3% to 2,400 real per share. The stock is on the rise the last three days. The company recently announced a share buyback, citing undervaluation. The company's stock represented 83% of the main board today and was essentially the market. On the losing side, Clayton Bank lost 40 real per share to 7,620. On the growth board, JS Land was up 100 real per share to 4,300. In corporate news, JS Land released its annual report showing 16.7 million US dollars in real estate sales for the full year 2023, with a profit after tax of 1.7 million US dollars. The company reported earnings per share of seven cents. The company listed in March 2022 with an offering price of Khmer Real 1,900 per share, and as mentioned, closed today at 4,300 Khmer Real per share. That's a gain of 126%. The big news of the day was the announcement that Prime Minister Hun Manet will break ground on the construction of the Funan Techno Canal in August. The new waterway transport network will link Prek Takao of the Mekong River system to the Prek Ta Ek and Prek Ta Hing of the Basak River system and onto the kingdom's coastline in Kep province crossing Kandal, Takao and Kampot provinces. The project will include three dams, 11 bridges and 208 kilometers of road. The project is estimated to cost US dollar 1.7 billion and an estimated completion time of four years. The Prime Minister commented, we will not wait long to open the construction site, as this could lead to a lot of speculation. To stop the speculation, we will do it. We will begin construction in August. We will not let the naysayers tell us this is not possible. He further added, if the Cambodian people put their hearts into it, then this is all we need. Some people have asked, what will we do if foreign investors do not invest? Regardless, Cambodians will do it and do it in their own territory. The Khmer Real continues to weaken now at 4,093 to the US dollar. The US dollar index strengthened as of the close of business in Cambodia, up 0.32 to 104.94. The US dollar has been rallying following an increase in treasury yields as there is continuing doubt the Federal Reserve will cut rates anytime soon. Brent crude trading at 83.03 a barrel, down slightly by 40 cents. Gold down US dollar $8.60 to US dollar $2,332.60 an ounce. In New York, the Dow continues its steep decline after hitting record highs last week. It was down 411.32 points overnight to 38,441.54. Just last week, the Dow hit 40,077.40. Futures already pointing to another steep decline of 325 points. Salesforce plunged 16% after missing revenue expectations in the first quarter and adding the outlook for the second quarter doesn't look that great either. This has been Anthony Galliano for your market update for May 30th.